I'm a musician whose passion for music has led me to become a music therapist. My goal is to share music with those who can benefit from its therapeutic properties and human connection. I am also the granddaughter of someone who's been experiencing brain confusion. And recently, I've been helping to care for my grandfather. This has given me the opportunity to employ my professional skills in a home setting. Connecting with music. The first step is you will need some music that you both enjoy dancing to. So what music should you pick? Well first, you should ask your partner what they enjoy. If they're unable to verbalize, you could always go back to their teen years. Music is the most emotional when we're about the age of 14, so you could look at a billboard hit and see what was popular at that time. Some timeless music might be Elvis Presley's Can't Help Falling In Love With You, Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World, or Somewhere Over the Rainbow from Wizard of Oz. Some negative reactions may be due to the noise. Sometimes people living with more severe forms of dementia find different instruments or loud noises discomforting. So look for if they're covering their ears, scrunching up their face, maybe they start crying, or look for if they have no reaction at all to the music. Some positive reactions might be smiling, verbally reminiscing, remembering some of the lyrics, tapping their hand, tapping their toe, or dancing. Every single person wants some form of human gentle touch. This starts when we're a baby and it never stops. Dancing benefits both partners in this way. Dance involves nonverbal communication. You can have a full conversation without saying a word. For instance, who takes the lead? Who chooses the style of dance? Who takes the tempo? And who chooses the level of intimacy? Step one, you'll wanna find some music that you both want to dance to. It might be a wedding song, something from your early teen years, or just an emotional response, something that's happy and music that's associated with that. Step two, play the song. Sit with the person and see what evolves. Here's a short little video of how this might work.
Following the dance, remember what music worked, what moves provided the most laughter and the deepest connection. Remember this for the future, because these are the times you will want to hold on to as time goes on. Your goal is to be in the here and now. It invites creativity, spontaneity, play, and laughter. You're both equal partners in dance. And remember, you're connecting when you're having fun.